Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are doing another video. Be the TW, by the way, um, warning this uh, video contains features that may be uncomfortable for some audience. So, uh, click off this video if you do not like seeing animals be gutted, skinned, or even possibly, um, decapitated, uh, while being butchered. So, uh, anyways, uh, this. The, the credits go to uh, deer meat for dinner. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to his channel. And without further ado, let's get into the video. It's 14 minutes long. This better be interesting. All right, you guys. Everyone's been asking for that another alligator. Okay, can, that is a that is a that is a big gator, man. Look at this. This is this guy compared to this gator. This thing is big as him cleaning video and here we go we've got a nice 10 foot 5 inch alligator that we killed last night we're gonna completely break it down we're gonna skin it and then we're gonna remove all the meat not just some of it we're gonna juicy. remove it all then we're gonna okay, flesh why? out the hide and we're gonna prepare the head so he can have a nice head mount great thing about alligators is that there is zero waste like zero like do they this is a joke, by the way. Like, zero waste as in they never poop, or that there's, uh, you can take all the meat. Whatever. <laughs> Let's get to cleaning. <laughs> if you can imagine, these alligators live in mud. They eat yeah, rotten they live in stuff, so you gotta bleh. clean them. You they gotta eat. have a lot of bleach. <laughs> fresh bleach. Fresh bleach. Absolutely. But seriously, though, um, yes, you would want to clean these guys, because they li like they live in swamps and like if you uh if you eat them and you don't clean them, you're just gonna get sick by eating their meat. So yeah. In your soap, if you don't, yeah, you're just asking for infection. Exactly. So now we'll rinse them off. Yeah, get them all nice and clean. Yeah, get them nice. And He's gonna make us an alligator balloon. All we do is make a little incision right there. Take your hair. You know what this reminds me of? You know that scene in Shrek? Like that scene in Shrek where like he, he and um whatever the, his wife name was, they made like balloons out of animals. Just imagine that, but with this gator. That's what it's reminding me of. Okay. Blow them up. Get some air in there. That thing is gonna explode on you if you're not careful. Oh, no. No, he broke. He broke the. Uh, he broke the thing. What is he gonna broke do? Broke my thing. All right. So most of you all don't know. I break everything. So I just went and bought this specifically for this video. Luckily, I bought a backup. So that's that. I know some of y'all right now are hoping that this alligator explodes on me. Something. You might think that the air separates the skin from the meat. It doesn't. What yeah. it does do Wait, is what? it makes him not- Okay, I've been lied to. Apparently, you don't actually use it to separate the skin from the meat. I've been lied to. Nice and rigid and allows me to work on him. So we're going to start right here in the center of his head and we're going to- Come right back. Okay, that's kind of satisfying there. at the same time. Come around the scoot. In this I'm, I'm not marking your gator out. We're yeah. going to mark him. Yeah, mark him. Just like that. Cutting. you got to use a good sharp knife. Yeah. As many of you know, I use silver stag, silver stag knives. Um, by the way, if you don't know what a silver stag knife is, uh, yeah, I've been doing some research on alligators. BTW, don't think I'm weird. Those two videos I made about five fun facts, my school told me to make those, so, yeah. Plus, my teacher begged me to do it so she could watch them, so, yeah. Anyways, um, but, yeah, this is a stag knife. But, yeah, this is what a silver, silver stag knife is. This is the closest one that he has been using. 
just imagine the handle a little bit shorter and that's basically what he was using so yeah that is a that is a silver stag knife in case if you don't know what that is but anyways enough talk let's uh let's get back into the video uh okay. they're made out of d2 steel they're very sharp and i, I think they're indestructible Now we're going to come okay, right back so to the center of the fan. That is, that is right really there. satisfying. Perfect. When I skin a gator, I like to have the tip yourself, of my man. knife right yourself. against the tip of my finger. And I have very good feel that away. True, but you might cut yourself more often. Oh, oh, it's, oh that is so satisfying. Oh my god. You cannot just rip the hide off like a deer or a hog. You yeah. literally have to cut every because they're, square uh, inch their skin of it. Is, hold on. So um, that's because their skin is so thick that it would be impossible for you to rip it off. You'd probably break your hand doing that. So that's why you gotta use a knife. Be very careful. Here's another note. If if you're working on your gator and you go sharpen your knife real good, come back, be very careful because if you sharpen your knife, chances are you're going to add more pressure and cut a hole in your hide. That's not what you're looking for. Unless they just came here for the meat and didn't care about the pelt. This is a very, very, very easy spot to, to nick your hide. This is kind of gross but satisfying. It's, it's really gross but really satisfying at the same time. I don't know why. We're only four, four minutes and what? Four minutes and four seconds, and this is what we've already come to. Like you can even see some of the blood. You can actually see blood on that man's hand. I'm surprised there's not more blood coming out. Oh, oh it's so. Okay, so this is probably the most complicated part of the whole skinning process. What a lot of guys will do is they'll just cut the tip of the fan right off. But I'm going to try to split the fan. Now, mind you, I have not split a fan in a couple of years. But I'll give it a okay. shot. Splitting a fan, if you don't know by experience, I've... See how I've, you split it there? I, um, it's very hard to actually split a right fan. Right down to the bitter end. finger in here and then you'll just make sure it looks so cool and satisfying and gross now hold that there good so satisfying it's gross really gross like honestly i kind of want to throw up so when you cut that tailbone Ooh. out oh, make oh, sure God. that you don't cut this hide because that sighties tag has to stay intact with the hide. Otherwise, it's illegal. It's an untagged gator. So we've yeah, got one illegal. full side of him done. Now we'll turn him around and do the other side. Yeah, thanks for the time lapse. I wasn't about to sit here for 50 minutes trying to watch your skin this gator. But that looks super cool though. Oh, it just flips the belt off with that. I like it how they're not like actually trying to on an alligator the head. every single muscle is edible i mean gator meat is gator meat yeah just it's like every other animal the best animals you can back straps come right on down here oh okay that sounds so scott what do you think okay that was a oh, pretty song. awesome I'm pretty that was, that was a pretty it's very addicting yeah. That was a pretty gross sound. So now, sound. we're going to start cutting off this front shoulder. Oh, oh, oh. And that uh, is an alligator front shoulder. It looks 
that it we're gonna so, roast. It looks so cool, That's but gross. Okay. I had no idea Dad. you could find this much on Ancestry. Okay, there's this is my mom's yearbook picture from high school. How did I even get this? That's my grandpa's draft card. Oh, is this your parents' first house? That's the one. Big old so hind cool. leg. I wish I could do that, but yeah, it's really gross. Now, this alligator tail, in a sense, is four loins. You have your top loin on both sides and your bottom loin on both sides. The sure. bottom loin is where your jelly roll or your tenderloin is. I'll show you how we get to it. Oh, that's so, it's so weird, but satisfying. Top one, beautiful piece of white meat. There's the jelly roll right there. Look at this, Scott. Yeah, You'll see what the most beautiful piece of meat on an alligator is. Said. Right there. Bone. That's it. We are 11 minutes into this recording. This is already turning. People okay, call it that jelly roll or the tenderloin. Best piece of meat on an alligator. Looks so good. I was about to say, that looks amazing. This guy's gonna literally take all of the meat out. That's called your bottom wrap. Look at that big, beautiful filet of alligator tail. Here is what many would consider is the second best piece of meat on an alligator. That's his jaw meat. This jaw muscle out. Oh, 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 oh god. White meat. They're literally pulling this gator apart. They are pulling this gator apart, mate. They are literally pulling this guy apart. Part one by one. 13 minutes into the recording, and this is what I decided to watch. I was like, maybe it won't be too graphic. I'm sure it's gonna be some graphic. It has to be. But I was not expecting this. I was like, I was like expecting them to like, I don't know, like, just cut. Just, I I don't know what I was expecting. Let's be honest. I mean, I was expect I wasn't expecting them to right, actually so now. remove. We've got all the major muscles taken off. Now we're going to start coming around and cutting off all these secondary muscles, which make absolutely great meat. Beautiful. Doesn't even have any fat in it. We can grind it up and make us awesome gator burgers. Oh my god, I see you using a saw? Look at that. That's a full grown rack of alligator ribs. Trim those up, season them with some Everglades. They're going on a smoker. All right, you guys, so that's it. Got about 65 pounds of meat. This carcass has been completely removed of all the good meat. This is the interior of the alligator, something very few people have ever seen. You can see the liver. That's where the head would be food comes down, 
the stomach sit. Uh, telling you, never cut the stomach. We took out the ribs, all the white and dark meat took off all four legs. Oh my god. Now, only thing that left to do is we'll flesh family out the hide. Until they, uh... How you do it is you take a pipe with sharp edges and you scrape very hard, constantly. Scrape, 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 get all the meat off, and then you salt it heavily, fold it up, roll it up, and keep it in a cold place. This head, we're gonna be sending out to White Bone Creation. Oh, yeah. Ryan Olson is a great guy. He's also a great YouTuber. And when it comes to turning okay. heads into unbelievable works of art, there's nobody better. So Ryan, this head is being shipped to you guys. And if any of you guys wanna check out his YouTube channel, it's White Bone Creations. So, and then we've got ribs, I'll legs, check it out. all the gator tail, the jaws, I mean all the usable meat off of this alligator has been harvested. The head will be turned into a mount. We're gonna have, these are the scoots. That's the horn back. And for any of you wondering, these scoots are the hardest part of an alligator. So when that gator is sunning himself because they're cold blooded, they've gotta use the sun to regulate their temperature. These scoots, no matter where the sun is, will actually be grabbing sunlight. They're hard so they retain heat. So when the gator goes into cold water, the blood flows along this side of them and gathers heat to warm his whole body. So that's basically like hot rocks for an alligator. Then the hide, we will salt and send to Sebring Custom Tannery and have it tanned. You guys, you asked for another alligator cleaning video. I hope you liked it. What was your take on the entire hunt? It was amazing. I'll tell you what, it was very impressive, very addictive, and I think anybody out there that wants to go should contact you two people <laughs> right here. But, uh, okay, I think I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna remind myself to never watch hunting videos again. Bye. Sick.